I'm so tap tap. Put your headphones on. Do it. You're not legally allowed to play this game or watch this video without headphones. I'm sorry. This is islands, non places. This is a. Well, you'll see. What do we do here? I just know that this game is beautiful and it has, like, sort of a meditative take on very ordinary places. It, um, it was on sale a bit ago on Ichio, so I went and got it. Not really familiar with what is to be done here. Oh, you had to click the light, I, I think. Not really sure what's going on, but that's usually my favorite sign of a, new, a good new game is no object idea of what's going on. This is on iOS as well. I'm playing the PC version. It, has, it even has a Mac version, so you don't even have to whine about that. Aren't you lucky? This kind of reminds me of Conbini, actually. It had a very different approach, but uh, it was another way to add a lot of interesting life to the mundane, so to speak. Hello, Mr. Bus. How you doing? Am I just clicking lights? I'm not really sure how this works. It looks nice. It's maybe off. Oh, maybe you would understand if you had put on headphones. That's why it, if if you put on headphones, this game makes ten times more sense. It's true. Okay, it's a lie. I'm wearing headphones. And I'm still pretty confused. Oh. Door. Okay. Oh, there's eggs! Oh, this is the egg stop. All the eggs get off here. It's from that stupid egg council, isn't it? You better run, eggs! This is where Twitter gets off the station. They're gonna go into somebody's mentions now. It's a beautiful thing. Nature is a cruel but beautiful place. Oh, <laughs> And into the ravine. This kind of reminds me of some of the surreal, like, Flash games, like, um, Mitoza. I wish I had full, like, camera control. Like, there's... Huh. Bye, Mr. Bus! Um... How are you, Mr. Eggs? Oh. Oh, it's an incubator! I see. Or it's gonna hard-boil them. I'm not really sure which. Both are good. Both are good. If you never, if you didn't know about eggs, this is how eggs are made. You know those eggs? Everyone knows eggs from the supermarket aisle. This is how they're, you know, produced. They get off a bus and we cook them. It's beautiful. Are we, wait, what? Was that a map? I don't know what that was. I don't know what anything is, but I still enjoy it. So here we've got a fountain. I'm just gonna wonder, like, are, like, a bunch of potatoes gonna, like, come out of, you know, a jet ski and run for Congress? Is that what kind of game we're playing? I don't know. Up. Oh. Rip. That was the potatoes. They got, they got into the wiring. Uh, several dead. Um, really unpleasant for everyone involved. Uh-oh. The containment procedures are beginning. God help us all. Containment procedures complete. The potato's gonna happen soon. I can feel it. This is what happens. This is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. It's this. It's kind of limited affordance in this game. That's that's kind of affordance. It's a interface thing where it's just basically the the intuitive feeling of like oh I can do a thing here like when you hover over a thing and it lights up that means like hey I can click this and uh, this game I'm enjoying it but it has a little bit the glowy things are usually what you press but uh, the, the cheese well it's made out of cheese 
This is what happens, and this is what's in that fountain at the mall. You think it's so pretty? Well, it there's a lot of work involved. There's trees in there. There's uh, you know, some cottage cheese metal stuff going on. Some roots, some jungle birds. This is what's under there. It's very complicated. This is actually reminding me a bit of Nog. Now that I think about it. Nog was very good at affordances. Maybe this is a little bit less so. Well, let me turn it off. Oh, there's Mr. Fix-It Doodle. He's gonna fix it. That's what he does. He's Mr. Fix-It Doodle. There you go. There you go. Let's all clamp shut now. There we go. This is what happens. This is how wells, or not wells, this is how little decorative fountains work. All of this, they're very expensive. Very complicated. There's freaking sloths or something over in the corner there. They're 18 miles deep. This actually kind of reminds me of like that ridiculous elevator. In, or not elevator, uh, ladder in uh, Snake Eater. Yeah, this is a normal thing for normal places. Just two mile long elevator. Who would win? Gordon Freeman or a two mile long ladder? Because he's not very good with ladders. Even in Half-Life 2, he's not very good with ladders. I've died to many less ladders in Half-Life 2, but there's, there's still a little bit weird. I hope we all learned something about fountains today. I hope we all never forget. That's right, Parker. Yes! Hello? Meow. Oh, we're three out of however many that was. It wasn't on screen for very long. So here we've got, um, we've got Parker obstructing my view. That's what we have now. Excuse me. Um, we've got escalators. With trees, you know. And trees aren't very good at elevating themselves. So, you know, sometimes instead of growing, they just, you know, they just take the escalator. That's right, Parker. This is how they get so tall. They, they take the escalator. It's really... It's really a problem to just grow that high without a little bit of help. Don't, don't judge them. Don't judge them. We don't like to judge people. Or trees. Trees are people too, you see. There's a lot of gradient banding going on. So... I think I have summoned the Elder Gods or something. I don't know what I've done, but I, I'm not sure it will be pleasant. Use the elevator, the escalator. What I'm mixing up elevators with everything. All of the go up things, it's all the same to me. Now go do the thing. What are you, I have to do this again. So it's usually the lights. Oh god, that noise. Why? Oh, oh, we gotta sprinkle them. We gotta give them a nice sprinkle. You gotta sprinkle on their dinkles. Like, gonna grow up nice and strong. Why is that so. <laughs> that is really loud. This is how trees work. I know most of you are very stupid and you don't know how trees work. This is how. You didn't know how eggs worked either, but here you go, my friends. Educational. Am I supposed to click things? It's never entirely clear when you're supposed to click things. But I think we're just... Well, actually, I don't know. Do I click these, maybe? No? Oh, there you go. They've had their little water break. Imagine if every time you're on like a particularly tall, you know, escalator, you just had a nice little refreshing rain break. Just sprinkle some water all over there. This is so incredibly loud. I'll have to edit that in post. It's like... I wasn't aware that my PC could be this loud at 10% volume. It's all thanks to trees. Three, trees are very noisy. Have you ever noticed that? Trees just never shut up. It's exhausting, honestly. Sigh. What's this? Oh, it's like a phone box. Oh, it's a vending machine. Whatever. Phone box, vending machine. Uh, give me a Dr. Peepus. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, I just wanted one, actually. That's a bit much. Oh, they're one with the universe now. This is what happens when you open a vending machine 
in space. Oh, I'm just gonna drink all of these with my through space osmosis. Their energy is absorbed directly into me. It's delectable. Oh, oh god. It's too many! It's too many! Ah! The universe is now one with soda. That's the sound of my bill for drinking this many sodas at once. It wouldn't even be that much, but... These are, these are space sodas, okay? These are the sodas of enlightenment. After you drink them, you're one with the universe. You will understand eggs and trees after drinking them. You will understand everything, my children. Do you understand, Parker? He understands. He is one with the universe. All right. So this is where trees go after the escalator. You know, sometimes they just need a little bit of help to get up to the third floor. We've all needed some help to get up to the third floor once, once or twice in our lives. Yeah, they're just there. It's raining inside. It's fine. Sometimes it's nice to have it rain inside. It rains outside all the time. But rain inside is something that you only really get to appreciate when the building is on fire. Which is not really the optimal time to enjoy anything, really. Relaxing. Well, that's a little less relaxing. I guess we're all gonna drown now. Well, we gotta... We gotta elevate the seats. We have elevated seats in case the building floods from the inside. Very... It is, these people thought of everything when they built this building. Elevated seats. Rain inside. Tree escalators. This isn't some schmuck hotel. This is serious business. You even got your little... They even got free Wi-Fi. It's good Wi-Fi, too. None of that crappy hotel crap. This is the stuff. Do not expose your laptop to the inside rain, though. It's... Laptops are desert creatures, and they do not react well to excessive quantities of water. It, uh... Rinses out their schleem. Oh, we're all dead. Oh, this is why. This is why they kept telling me not to make it rain inside because everybody drowns. Forgot about that part. Well. Oh, there's a train indoors as well. They told me not to have a train indoors too. I thought they were just being jerks. It's fine. But you can just go. Uh oh, Silent Hill is happening actually. That's not a train, that's Silent Hill. Um, hopefully Pyramid Head will drown though. I don't think he's very good with water considering that helmet thing must weigh about 200 pounds. And also his great knife must also weigh about 200 pounds. But he's pretty freaking buff. Did you see the movie? Pyramid Head is freaking buff. He is freaking Tumblr. Tumblr has the daddies out for him. Whatever that means. It's fine, though. What a very peaceful place for us all to drown in. Except for the, the siren. The siren makes it a little bit less peaceful, but it's... Otherwise. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, fish! Lovely little fish! So, the bad news is we're all gonna drown, but the good news is that beautiful bioluminescent fish will feast on our bodies after we're gone, so... You win some, you lose some. Fish eat your corpse, you know. At least it's very pretty. When I die, I, I just hope that it's very pretty where I'm dying or how I'm dying. Uh, the rest of the details don't matter too much. It's fine. Got some nice bioluminescent algae. Oh, oh, it's coming down. Pyramid Head has left the building. Everything's fine. You may now log in to the uh, hotel Wi-Fi again. I'm never booking this hotel again. The Wi-Fi is great. The um, risk of death by drowning is significantly higher than was in the pamphlets. The pamphlets said it was about 7%. This is at least 
I'm I'm not happy about that, honestly. Are you happy about that, Burker? He doesn't seem to care much. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're about half done, and we're at 15 minutes, so I'm gonna split here. And we're gonna explore whatever the hell this is next time. It's some kind of spinny dial thing.